The Lenovo DMI Desktop Management Interface is a framework used to manage hardware and software configurations within Lenovo systems. It allows users to access system information, such as the motherboard, BIOS version and other hardware details. It allows users to access system information, such as the motherboard, BIOS version and other hardware details. Hi, this is Foyaz Eframan. Welcome back once again. Today I'm going to show you Lenovo ThinkPad E490 Missing EEPROM by Update Software. Check description box for procedure update software link. How to solve EEPROM is write protected U8 serial number brand name missing update by using hardware maintenance diskette DMI software. Note that update DMI maintenance diskette is worked by EFI boot mode. This is system information where you can find by laptop serial number. This laptop was no power. We repair this motherboard. That's why we need to input missing data EE, EPROM. In previous video, I used old Lenovo ThinkPad DMI maintenance diskette software. But Lenovo principal recently changed this old software. Now some my regular viewer is facing trouble, which is show EPROM is right protected. If you like this video please do not forget to subscribe my channel and see the full video until the end. If you try old Lenovo ThinkPad DMI maintenance diskette software, then you fail to update EEPROM. And when you press 1 for set system identification, then laptop display appear EEPROM is right protected. Now try update Lenovo ThinkPad DMI maintenance diskette software. After download maintenance diskette program software ran the right software setup to direct a pen drive. Now open the required software folder N1CTM14W also run USB FMTB application to create a bootable USB pen drive. Please be patient few moment. Now safely remove the pen drive from your laptop. Please insert the bootable USB in your ThinkPad laptop. Boot it from USB pen drive to the ThinkPad maintenance utilities diskette program automatically. Here you see the main menu. You will come to the ThinkPad serial number update utility for Asset Idaho area. Select one set system identification. Three options will be here to add read and delete data to EEPROM. Select one add SN data to EEPROM. Enter the device type number C0, you will come to next level. I selected C0 system unit serial number. In the example, the serial number to be in. 
like as UUID 2098 S0H200 serial number is PF1X13EA. Enter the long serial number without space with one S is compulsory. Please follow below number as you are required after new motherboard or no power a service. 1S20N8S0H200 PF1X13EA. Please don't mistake the 20 digit serial number. After input your 20 digit serial number press enter key it will be shown data is written successfully completed. Press enter key for continue then press 9 to exit serial number update utilities option. Here you chose action desired 2 for assign UA then press Y key to change UUID. Press enter to continue to main menu. Press 9 key for system shutdown. Power on the system here shown just one option missing. Here show only product name is invalid. Other option successfully updated. In BIOS there is no invalid number shown also notification is almost gone. Like MTM serial is written successfully in BIOS. Now press Ctrl Alt Delete key for software reboot. Here you see the main menu. Here you chose action desired 3 for update configuration edit. Again chose action desired 2 for updated brand name. Press 1 key hit enter for right think party 490 brand name to update EEPROM. Again, press one key. Here, type brand or model name like ThinkPad E490. Now press Y key for updating EEPROM contents. Hit press enter key to continue. Press 9 key for exit this option press enter to continue. Again press 9 key for system shutdown. Now press power key for system on check BIOS. Hey look here is no error notification and no missing information. In BIOS there is no invalid number shown also all notification is gone. If show date time error then select the default bio setting also date time is today or recent. Hopefully this is helpful to those who have the same issue in the future. Thank you for watching.